Merry Christmas, Wiz Nation, Wiz fans. What is up? What is up? What is up? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Camingo. Now, I hope you're enjoying your holidays and everything. Well, we got to talk some wizards. Now, we just finished up our longest road trip of the year, and it was probably a long road trip I've seen in a long time. Uh, we originally was sick and road trip, but but we had five because one got postponed. We get get to that in a moment. We're we're gonna start from beginning to the end. First off, let's start with uh, Denver. Denver game. I I I felt pretty good coming into this game. Coming in because like okay, like we can take a take on Denver because there's no Murray, no Porter. All the guy is the uh, MVP and the Joker and Nikola Jokic. But I think Wiz kind of forgot all about all about them, cause that game we got, we we looked like we got blown. We were down maybe with thirty points in that game, and we cut down to like seven points, and we lost by six. I'm like, God, I didn't see. It. I I I saw the first half of it, cause you know me, cause I hate these late games. I'm always falling asleep in these late games or missing them. But Denver, I said they can have it, cause they, like I said. They forgot about the Joker because he is the reigning MVP. Now, Sacramento, I don't know how the hell we lost that game because I did not see the game at all. And I'm like, we lost by 14 points to the Kings. They, their coach was out because he, he tested positive the COVID. They had no Brad Bagley who was on, on pr- protocol. And and Kuzma c- came back because he was out of the protocol. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, oh yeah, we got this. And look at uh, looking at the box score. I'm like, we were down twelve, not, not down. We were up twelve, l- late third quarter, and the Kings end the game on a forty-two to sixteen run. Like, really, the freaking Kings! Out of all teams to lose to on a road trip, we lost to the Kings. That's supposed to be the easiest game on our trip, and we lost to the, to, to the Kings. Moving on. Phoenix, that was a, a, a scheduled loss right there because we knew we were going to lose the Phoenix, Phoenix as they lost the Kings. Like, we saw it coming a mile, a mile away. I didn't like, I saw a little bit. I'm like, you know what? I'm probably going to watch it because I know they're going to lose. And they did. They lost by, by 20 points to the Suns. But that team is good, by the way. That team is on a mission. That team wants to win a championship this year after failing a year ago. And come and next up is Utah. Now Utah, I thought we we're gonna lose again. I was like, oh yeah, because they beat us bad previously by twenty five points in our house. And I was like, they're gonna do the same thing in Utah because you know Utah is a hard place to, place to play. And coming to Utah, we had a we went on our season high four game losing streak. Well, I'm like, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be five coming coming up. But it looked like in the first quarter, but the but after that, I'm like, oh yeah, it's time to play. I'm gonna talk about that fourth quarter of that game because we benched Kuzma and Dinwiddie in the fourth quarter, and we went with Neto and Adia, and it paid off. Thank you, Wes Unsell Jr. and Wiz fans been waiting for this all year. Play Denny more minutes. And it's working, especially in crunch time in the fourth quarter, which you haven't seen. And we usually had our our usual five in Dim, Dimwitty, Bill, KCP, Coos, Gaffer, or or Montreal. It doesn't matter. But I like how one said to change it up and go with others. If if you're not on your game like Dimwitty and and Kuzma did on the night, just go with others and and see what happens. And Neto and uh and Avdia, it worked. And that big shot by KCP at their jump ball, I think he nailed it, it up. And he caught it and he tapped the tapped up to KCP, threw it up, ball game. I'm like, when in doubt, KCP comes through. It doesn't matter. Like, he, he, he can have a, a bad night, cold night, or struggling all game, or a bit invisible, he'll come through. And we did the impossible beat Utah in Utah for the second year in a row. Now, we were supposed to play Brooklyn, I think it was this past Tuesday, but it got postponed because the Nets had a COVID outbreak. And I'm like, this sucks. We were supposed to play our first game on national tele- television, 
ain't gonna postpone because the Nets had an outbreak. And I tweeted, can you blame Kyrie, Kyrie Irving for this thing? Because who has he been, been around with on, on the team? I thought he was away from the, the team. I'm like, so I, I might blame Kyrie Irving for this one because I'm like, you might have done some, something since now he's on, on protocol now. Protocol now, so I think he got something, something to, to do, 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 do with that. So and I'm like, so we'll see the Nets, wh whoever the game's made up, but we shall see. Now, that game and trick was New York. Now, New York, I'm like, we, we can win this game. I'm like, because like, that, that was one of the second or the first East guys. It depends on the Kings and the Knicks. But that game, I mean, we were desperate for, for a win. We want to end this road trip on a positive note, going back home. But that game, Kemba Walker. Kemba, Kemba, Kemba. Cardiac Kemba. He was cooking us the whole game. And he had like, what twenty five points in the, in the in the first half alone. He had twenty two in the second quarter alone. I'm like, this dude's playing like Charlotte Kemba and, or or Yukon Kemba Walker. And uh, he was benched for how long? For for two three weeks, and come out doing like this. Knicks, y'all did him dirty right there. Y'all did him dirty. You're like you know, you, you don't bench Kemba Walker, and look what he's doing now. He is cooking right now. Since since he uh been back back in lineup, but I think the reason why he's back in my lineup because D Rose out he's been out for like what eight weeks with ankle ankle surgery something like that, but we we came out got a dub, and play and two guys got the game ball. Dinwiddie is is is, is it to say that he's back to form? Is it is it to say he's back to form because he's been struggling for weeks. And he come out, had 12 points, like well, 11, 12 assists. And the other player game, Corey Kispert. In his first start of the year, we had no KCP or Brad because they're on, uh, on safety protocol. And what did Corey Kispert do? Come out and score 20 points at the Garden. Good job, Corey Kispert. That's what we wait and see. Hopefully, you'll do it again next game. We're going get to get to it. In a, in a moment, but Corey Kispert, great job at a clutch shot, two big threes by winning down Kyle Kuzma. So I guess, can I say real quick? Thank you, Lakers. <laughs> Thank you, Lakers. Is y'all been missing this year? Is y'all been missing? Y'all missed some clutch gene. <laughs> and now. We end the trip on two and three road trip, which I kind of I thought we we're gonna at least uh go three and three, when we can but we did finish two and two and three. But I'll take that because since the game got, got postponed against the Nets on this past Tuesday, but I'll take it. Cause I said to myself, if we can get to twenty wins before January, we should we, sh we should make a run before All Star break, because we're at home in thirteen. Of the next 17 games. Wow. 13 out of 17 at home in our house, which we're, we're pretty good at. I'm going to get to this, this home stretch we got. The home game we, we play. We're playing Philly, Cleveland, Chicago, Charlotte, Houston, Oklahoma City, Orlando, Portland, Philly, Brooklyn, Toronto, Boston, and the Clippers. All at home. The ones on the road is Miami, Chicago, Orlando, and Memphis. If we can take advantage at, in our house at home, watch out NBA. We're, we're coming back. We're, we're coming. We're. I know we had a rough December, which which is okay because everything goes through this these these rough times in, in a month. But January, this could be our month. I said if we if you can beat win the, the last three to end to end twenty twenty one. We should be fine. Get twenty wins, and hopefully, we get around at least thirty some wins before for All Star break. So, speaking of All Star break, today's the day. Vote for All Stars. Vote for Bradley Beal to get in his what the fourth All Star game, which should sh should have been six. But anyway, vote for Bradley Beal. Now, next up for the Wiz, we got Philly. It's our first meeting with the Sixers. Since they ended our season a year ago, 
So hopefully we can get any phase right behind us for, for when that, I think we're in a six spot they're right behind us. So if we win, we can hopefully we can catch ground and 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 you know what I'm saying climb up to where, where we were in the beginning of the year. But can't wait. We got fit. So I, I'm busy tomorrow. I got to watch the Philly game, Philly game, Washington Wizards game tomorrow, and the football team tomorrow night. So it's a double header for me. Got to watch the football team Sunday night football, and the Wizards. And for that, it's the Wizards. So thank y'all for watching, Wizards fans. Y'all know the deal. Follow me on Twitter at Camingo. Same on Instagram, Wizards page at Wiz underscore Nation, and Instagram Nation underscore Wiz. Thank y'all. Happy holidays. Peace.